Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. Um, let's see Virgo, <laughs> what the drama is, what's coming in for you in the month of May. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So wherever Virgo is in your chart, you are welcome to partake in the messages here. I hope you guys had a great weekend. All right, Virgo, let's get into your reading. See what the love messages are. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Um, you can go over to my website, moonpytarot.com. Book your reading there. I also have a 30-minute phone call reading. $50 off, you can get it same day. So do check that out. Okay. Let's take a look here, Virgo, and see what the love messages are for you. Coming up for the month of May, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, got I Like You, Ascending, got Mask here. So someone's not showing true feelings, but they are very much interested in you and are going to try to transcend some obstacles here. We've got Mirror, mirroring each other. Someone's copying you. If you um, notice anyone in your periphery or anyone around you who is kind of talking like you, acting like you, dressing like you, whatever, it, this is a compliment. Someone is mirroring you, and I'm seeing wedding here, a union wedding, getting married, soul connection, eternal love, and an everlasting promise, okay? Somebody's very interested in you, but at this time, they're not showing their true feelings. They're hiding. They might be gaslighting and telling uh, like if you're picking up or sensing that someone's interested in you um, or you're asking like do you like me or they're, they're and they're saying no or they're saying or they're telling you they're not trying to be in a committed relationship or anything it, it's a bunch of bullshit um, this person is hiding not trying to be vulnerable but yeah they're they're flirting and they do want to date but they're acting they're playing it cool okay they're playing it cool, all right? Um, they don't want you to see their wounds. Look at this. You've got the ten, ten of Cups here. There's somebody very much interested in you. You're their happily ever after. You know, they want to overcome these obstacles here, have a new phase. They're preparing for union, but they're kind of like trying to learn about you right now, taking their time, getting to know you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> King of Wands, <laughs> and a particular person in my chat pointed something out about this King of Wands. I'm not going to say it specifically, but whoever this person is, <laughs> look where his hand is hiding. <laughs> it's definitely got an Ace of Wands going on here. This this fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is like really digging you, <laughs> really liking you, if you know what I mean. Um, male or female energy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't unsee this now. Thank you very much, Vlad. I cannot unsee this now. Okay, so this is someone who is very charming, you know, comes across as bold. They're, you know, quite powerful or courageous, but they're playing it cool. They're not letting you know. You stimulate them. Virgo, you stimulate this person. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this person right now is weighing what to do how to approach, what to say, weighing these options, two of pentacles here, um, making a decision, okay, um, let's see, okay, yeah, how to be victorious with you, okay, how to conquer, how to win your heart, how to, how to get you, oh, somebody's playing hard to get, they're playing hard to get, they're doing it on purpose, but they're very, this person is tremendously like turned on by you. They're very interested in you, but they're acting as if they're not. A little bit of ego might be going on there. Six of Wands. Usually Six of Wands in the reverse would be someone who's, you know, could be egotistical and insecure. I don't feel like this person's really insecure. I just feel like they, they're very motivated. They're competitive. This is somebody who... Um, you know, like they, 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 they're all up in victory and recognition, that kind of thing. They want you to see them. They want you to notice them. They look at you and see like you're the prize. You know, they want to um, ascend this connection into a new phase or just get you to be with you, that kind of thing. But it's happily ever after energy. So it's not like 
wham bam thank you ma'am it's not like a one night stand kind of thing coming in from this person and all this energy happening here in may you, some of you might even know who this person is or they're wearing a false mask or they're pretending that they're not interested um trying to delude trying to hide their feelings okay fine yeah look the higher font this person wants to commit to you they want you to be there yep that's it they want to they're trying listen virgo this person is just slowly taking their time coming towards you they're going to approach you eventually they're going to open up because obviously if they don't why would you want to give your heart to someone if they don't eventually open up and tell you but they're overcoming their these obstacles it just feels mostly like they don't want to rush it they don't want to ruin it it's how i feel so they're going to take their time coming in okay we also have taurus energy here let me see what else going on all right yeah look the star you know what virgo this person sees you as like the queen of all queens the king of all kings you know like there's fantasy here they fantasize about you um you're like the the brightest shining star to them there's no other no one compares okay the sun is the brightest star in the in the in the galaxy okay and that's what you are to them and, you know maybe you are a star maybe you're a superstar that's how they see you though even if you're not you're like a superstar to them like it just feels like to me like this person just thinking about you like you, you just turn them on you're just a turn on <laughs> so Aquarius energy there you're a turn on to them look and just when I said Aquarius here's a fool this person's going to come in and take a risk with you this person wants to take this journey they're all about the journey the adventure taking a chance having fresh hope renewal a re it could be a renewing of a relationship renewing of something and, and bringing hope back breathing life and hope back into a connection here this is just okay king of cups here so uh, pisces energy could be cancer could be scorpio somebody that has very deep feelings for you as well on the emotional front you know on the physical front they're very active very physically active very sexually active um mars like passion driven energy but on the emotional side this person has very very like there's a depth to their emotions when it comes to you they're very nurturing they try to be supportive tolerant empathetic they can feel you from a mile away or miles away very reserved with their emotions um this person might have a little bit of sarcasm attached to them they kind of like witty with their words um there might be some games you know not not game playing like you know but there's competition here this person's very competitive i feel and i think i said that already with the six of wands this person likes competition and they like that you're kind of like you kind of come across to them as someone who can um be witty back to them you know, they don't see you as a doormat or anything like that quite the opposite which is why they really like you which is what they're really attracted to like they're they think to themselves virgo can be my person virgo is my person this can this can be my person you know they're just attracted to you in all kinds of ways yep six of pentacles this person feels they're in a better financial position and they want to be able to support or give energy to you or help you out in some way maybe even help offer your kids they want to wow it's definitely an energy i mean it's it's very much <laughs> stereotypical but this person wants to try to like put you in in diamonds and pearls i just heard that prince song um you know lift you up put you uh, like they see you as like an all-star that's what i just feel like they see you as an all-star and they they want to contribute to your success and your wealth and your growth wow what are you doing virgo who is this person what are you doing virgo okay here six of swords yeah this person's um they could be at a distance maybe at a distance to each other this person's willing to travel to you um go in your direction they're definitely um 
or they want you to travel to them, overcome some fears, okay? That's what the the Six of Swords is. Like, make they know this is, um, they have, there's, they're going to have to make a move here. They know they have to make a move. And I said to you in the beginning that they were kind of pretending or just hiding their true feelings, but I feel like they're going to overcome that, which is what the Six of Swords energy is. This is someone who's like, you know, faces their fears or faces whatever the obstacles are, you know, makes this transition. They know it's necessary in order to ascend, bring something further, you know, bring a relationship further. What about you, Virgo? What are you doing? Okay, you've got karma. So this, to me, feels like what goes around comes around. So I feel like all the good that you've put out, maybe you've been putting out some good energy or you've put out good energy before. It's come in the past. It's coming back around to you. It's coming to you. Okay. Let's see. You're getting some clarity. That's for sure. Okay. Whatever it is you've been manifesting as of late is coming back to you. Okay. It's like a, it's like a boomerang. The boomerang effect is happening here. 100%. 100%. You're, you're shining like a star here to somebody. Okay, Gemini, Scorpio energy. The Knight of Pentacles, you're taking your time. You're not rushing into anything. Um, you you come across as very reliable to somebody or to others. Straightforward, reliable, consistent, very routine, steady. Okay, and you're also thoughtful. You know, you don't rush into anything. You think that somebody views you as someone who can create whatever you, whatever you put your mind to, you can create. Um, they also see that you bring good, you're, you're giving somebody here a wake up call about something. Okay. I think about, um, it feels like the way they view you is, is giving them a light bulb moment. This is what I feel like with this star here, you know, like, like that light bulb image above your head like ding an idea like you, you give them ideas <laughs> you give them dirty ideas you give them ideas here but you know what this person sees that you're you're not going to rush into anything they like that about you they, they i feel like this person is mostly attracted to the fact that you you're very considerate you consider you're considering them they're hoping also that you're considering having something with them Okay, they're, they're hoping that you're thinking about them, definitely. Yep, you guys might be friends right now, and it could be turning into more. Maybe you view them as a friend. You definitely feel like there's a match here. Um, there's, there's definitely a partnership you believe that can get off the ground when you, know, when you meet this person, okay? Um, if you don't already know them, you definitely, and I feel like this person wants you to see them as partners, but you guys, I don't know, there's there's something here to do with the masking where there's like this thing where it's like, I don't know how Virgo really feels. Um, they, they might be concerned that you might just see them as only friends, but I don't know that you're going to feel that way. I feel like there's a spark here that gets created. Or you already, you might already know this person and you kind of like them back. Um, or, or you like them too. And there's a... Um, there's a spark that all I can say is that when two people come together, there's a spark, definitely. And when there's a spark, that means that there's chemistry and there's something there that can be built upon. You know, two, the two is all about partnerships here. Okay. All right. Knight of Wands. So as much as this person likes that you're thoughtful and you're, you take your time, they also, I don't, they're, at the same time, they're hoping that you're just going to rush in and, and not be too much in overthinking mode, okay? Because the Knight of Wands rushes in, doesn't think about anything. Just the Knight of Wands is motivated and driven by passion. So I feel like this person, um, they're definitely driven by their passions when it comes to you. Okay, we have the Six of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, um, it was friends in childhood. For others, this is a reconciliation energy with somebody. Um, nostalgia, remembering the past, and the Knight of Cups um, is coming in with the emotions. Not thinking, not driven by passion, not taking any, not taking time, but just completely an offer that comes in romantic, driven by emotions. Okay, sincerity behind this kindness. It's beautiful. 
it's a very beautiful energy here. Let me get two, no, I want three more cards. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. Big changes here. Uh, somebody's selling a home. Uh, it's either you or this person. I wasn't asking specifically who this might be, but somebody is, is selling a home, um, transitioning. Um, I'm also hearing like getting out of a big place, big city, um, a big home, or leaving a job, you know, going back to school, um, downsizing, okay? Um, so that could be you, it could be this person. It's kind of like, you know, when people start their lives out and they build their nest egg and then they they, they, they wind up living in a big home and, and then they, they put roots down and they get settled and, 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 and somebody here was very settled in their life but now is making the change and reducing from the 10 to the three. So reducing back down and going for more of a simpler, re relearning how to live a simpler life. So there's somebody here who's ready. It's not ready to settle down. It's done with settling and ready to, to rebuild, to build something new. So it's like a new chapter in life with the death card. Okay. Endings bringing new beginnings here in a connection. I love this reading. Oh my goodness. Let me see what other messages there are here for you. You know, I did a reading earlier and the sound was so bad, I couldn't get rid of the background sound. It was awful. And unfortunately, I was not able to, uh, I uploaded it, but I listened to it. It was awful. I just couldn't bear you guys having to deal with the sound because the microphone wasn't working and it was like the built-in microphone and it sounded like I was sounded like I was talking in like a flip phone from, uh, I don't know, 1999, 2001. It was awful. <laughs> sounded like I was underwater. Uh, I might upload it to my gum road. It's a, the, the caption of the reading was somebody was questioning, is this a twin flame or a soulmate? Somebody was really curious. I might upload it to my gum road and um, leave it there if you want to purchase it for very che cheaper than what I it might even just be like 11 bucks if you want it. You can still hear it. It's only halfway through. I'll put it up there and I'll leave a link underneath the video if you want to buy it. Um, but I'm not putting it out there for the whole public, for everyone. If, if you're someone who thinks you can get through the first half with the way the sound and the music is, um, there won't be any refunds on it because it's a digital download. But if, if you want it, I'll leave it up there. I'm just going to put it up there. Whoever wants it can have it. So it's an extra bonus for May. All right, let's see what other messages there are here for you guys. Okay, why is this upside down? The hand of fate, forces beyond your control will intervene. So love's coming in, whether you like it or not, Virgo. That's what I feel this message is here. Okay, serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. This is beautiful. This is like meant to be. The hand of fate, meant to be the gate, a barrier keeps you from your goal. Okay, so this is really just a message. It's up to you if you want to unlock this gate, unlock this door, let somebody in here in your life here. Okay, fire, reckless actions lead to conflict. So I feel like you're going to, remember I was saying earlier, somebody here wants you to just forget everything and just not think about it and just come towards them with your passion. That might be a little hard for you because you might have a tendency to think, oh, if I just jump, I might get burned. I might get, you know, if I jump into the fire, I might get burned. Um, that's a barrier. Your goal is love. You're going to have to take a risk. You're going to have to risk getting burned a little bit because what's the point of having love? I mean, love always comes with risk, right? You know, can't live your lives never taking a risk, right? Um, okay, you've got the dragon, strength and wisdom. And you have the harlequin, true feelings are masked. That's what I said in the beginning. Okay, this person is gaining the courage and they will be gaining the courage to come forward. They're just kind of like hiding right now. 
not revealing their true feelings, but they do like you. Um, interesting, and they do, this person is going to lead to marriage, or uh, it's a soul connection, an everlasting promise, you could call it, or just a soul union, okay? This person does want to date you. There will be flirtation. They do want to get to know you better and see where things go. So that's a real beautiful energy. Um, let's see what their sign is. Oh, you know what? No, we want the romance angels. Let's see what romance messages there are here. Romance angels. Okay. Yep, getting to know each other. That's what I said. This person is ready for the journey. They definitely want to get to know you. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So that's what it's all about. This person isn't going to try to rush in. They don't want to blow it, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So that's a message specifically for someone. Let go of the past. Forgive your parents. Move on. I keep seeing Johnny Depp everywhere. Um, is that... Hold on. I just want to get it so you can see it. Is that Captain Jack Sparrow? I keep seeing him everywhere. I guess because he's all over the news. I just keep seeing him everywhere. Somebody needs to forgive Johnny Depp. <laughs> Maybe your partner looks like Johnny Depp. <laughs> Let's see what else do you have here. Soul meat. Beautiful. Okay. This is a beautiful ener energy. Yes, this is your soul meat. Yep, this is your person. We have the soulmate card right here. Okay, they know it, you know it, or you will know it if you haven't met yet. Okay, meant to be. Situation here that's meant, meant to be. Oh, let's see what other messages we have here for you. What else does Virgo need to know? What other messages does Virgo need to know about this relationship, this love connection? this sacred bond and union that's coming up for them. Hope. Okay, that's the star. Um, dreams coming true. Your hope, faith, and wishes will be restored. Make a wish right now, Virgo, as you're listening. Make this wish. Whatever it is you're wishing for, set your intentions. Okay, spying and deception. So, yeah, this person is, that's what I was saying. They have a mask on, and they've been watching you. Okay, they're spying on you somehow, some way. Um, not revealing how they truly feel, but they're watching because they're very interested in you. Um, they want to flirt. They want to date. They're, they like you. Um, do they love you? Um, well, they will. I think they're not really sure right now. They're, they might have... Um, yeah, well, it says not showing true feelings. And I did see someone here with having very deep feelings. So I would say deep, passion, loving feelings towards you, yes. But they're presenting as that they just like you. But it actually goes deeper than that. Okay, waiting for an answer. All right. Hmm. So this is more along the lines of somebody here is waiting for the right time to pounce make that move okay financial decision needs to be made here so this has an effect on this relationship in one way or another um, it's a financial decision okay future plans and choosing a path yeah so um, a decision is affected by um, money okay uh, for this relationship to go in a particular direction it has something to do with money okay it can't, it, that has to be addressed. That's how I feel. A money situation has to be addressed. Financial situation has to be addressed, maybe in order to get to the point where um, a soul, you know, a soul, an everlasting promise, or a marriage, or a legal uh, marriage, or domestic partnership, or some type of connection. Um, it all involves finances and money. Okay. I don't know how, and I don't know in what way, but once. A decision has to be made about that in order for something to move forward. Could even be just as small as I'm just hearing who's going to pay for dinner. 
<laughs> Somebody might have like certain requirements that only the male pays or that there's Dutch or that only the female pays, you know, so it, like if someone, if they're in disagreement, then nobody's getting together. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? How simple that could be? So, and for others, it could be something much bigger, like selling the house to move in together or traveling and having the money to do so. All right, let's see what Chinese sign we have here, either yours or theirs or both of you. Okay, we have year of the pig, year of the ox, year of the tiger, okay, year of the dragon, I had dragon twice, year of the rooster, year of the monkey, okay, year of the horse, year of the rat, one more. Nope, we have a horse twice. Okay, year of the snake. All right, so if none of these resonate with you, it does not mean it's not your reading. That's just more specific to whoever these resonate for. Okay, let's see. Don't forget, check the gum road, check the link underneath if you wanna buy that, that reading, if you can bear it. <laughs> I don't mind it, but you guys might. Um, okay, I want to look at some, all right, so if this is a reconnection, because we did see a reunion, a renewing of a relationship, if this is a past person, let's get the messages from that past person. Okay, I couldn't let you get close to me. Okay, so somebody might have been masking in the past and they could not open themselves up to you in the past. Um, they pretended that their life was super together, but it really is not. Okay, um, but they're beginning to understand the connection a lot better now, which is beautiful. Okay, um, so they're understanding it's a soulmate connection. Okay, they are wondering if you are happy without them. So you might not be with them right now, but they do think about you. And one more. Okay, and if they lied to you, which they did because they hid their true feelings, they regret that. And that's probably what's driving them back towards you. Now, how do you feel about them? Past person. Okay, you, you replay conversations over and over. Maybe you read their text messages still. Okay, you tend to look for them everywhere, but that might be more subconsciously. I don't really feel like you guys are out looking for this person, um, but I feel like if you happen to be driving down the street and you see a car that looks just like theirs, you'll be triggered to remember them, but that's your subconscious is still attached to that. Um, uh, some of you wish you could take back your words, okay? For some of you, this is like take back telling them that you love them and they didn't respond. Some of you might feel like that smarted. Um, for others, there might've been some harsh words that were said or some kind of a breakup. So some of you might just have this thing like, man, you just wish that that didn't happen. Okay, you too can feel this person even though you're both apart. Um, so this is obviously a very strong red thread kind of connection. You do love this person, but for some of you, you may have just said, Oh, well, it's not going to work out. So it is what it is. Okay. Um, but lo and behold, this person is actually going to try to overcome some obstacles here to try to be with you and make something actually be happily ever after. As far as somebody new, like a friend turning into a lover, let's take a look and see. Um, or just a, something like that. Okay. This person... They've learned some kind of a spiritual lesson, which means to them that they need to be open and vulnerable. Um, they've been through a lot in their life, going slow, taking time to get to know each other. So I did say that, remember? Okay, this person's definitely taking their time. Um, radical acceptance and surrender can help them let go. So they're definitely releasing they're going through this process, you know, where they're releasing that mask. Okay, this is a past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. That goes for both, okay? That's what this soulmate connection here is all about. So there's a recognition, soul to soul recognition. 
Okay. Um, I feel like I've pulled every last card. I, I pretty much feel like I did. Let's get some Moonology messages and see what's going on here. What are the Moonology messages here for Virgo? This reading is going to be a little bit shorter because I'm still kind of under the weather. And I've already done three hours worth of readings. So, All right, Moonology message for Virgo. Okay, a new start is coming, Virgo. You can be sure of that. And we have a new moon. A new start is coming. There's a new beginning happening here, Virgo, in May. Absolutely. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Okay. This is giving to yourself, Virgo. That's always what that's about. Okay. And taking time to breathe out. I feel like you just had that. This is exhaling is just as important as inhaling. Okay. Exhaling all of the negativity, inhaling all of the positive, the good stuff. A personal issue reaches resolution, okay? So whatever that might mean for you, a personal issue you have will be resolved, okay? Could have, it's full moon in Cancer, so it could have something to do with um, family, home life, um, loved ones, family loved ones any kind of issues that you might be having or things that need to be resolved with them, that will be resolved, okay? Um, the A time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo is really just about, Virgo, you serve everyone all the time. You're not subservient, but it's time to be serving yourself and to take care of self. That's what I was feeling. And this take time to breathe out with disseminating moon, that's like the deterioration. Um, when we exhale, we're getting rid of that's what exhale means, getting rid of the toxin. So we're breathing out all of the toxin. And the new moon is, you know, having this new beginning. It's the new phase, a new cycle starting here in your love life. Okay, and the answers that you need, whoops, are coming. Full, full moon in Gemini. So clarity is coming. Gemini is Mercury ruled, so that means the communication, the answers, there's communication that's coming, things that you've needed to know, questions that you've needed answered, um, either with someone in particular or just in your life in general, these answers in order to make some kind of decision for yourself is coming forward. It's coming to you, okay? You're going to get it. You're going to get some communication from somebody here, I do feel that somebody who, like I said, one of the answers was, how does this person feel about me? And like I said, they're pretending that they like you, but they keep their feelings real, real deep inside. Um, they don't reveal, um, but this person has very, very deep feelings for you. They have love and affection and admiration, deep loving feelings for you. That's one of the answers that you're getting here. It's almost like confirmation, and they're coming across as like they just like you, but they're masking, okay? All right, let's get, see what your signs and special number dates are. It doesn't have to be a special number. So when I do numbers, sometimes I'll call out um, birth dates. Sometimes I'll call out ages, zip codes, area codes, phone numbers, um, months, birth, actual birth dates. Any number that would resonate for you, that's your number. All right. Numbers and signs. Okay. So we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius always shows up, Aries. Okay. So we've got September 1964, April 19th, November 7th. We have the 111 is here, um, 6142, okay, 1967, 1994, okay, all right, we've got Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, so we have December 1981, um, December 1998 I'm picking up, 
Um, somebody is 54. We have 1962. We have June 2nd, 2012. Significant date. We have 1974. Um, the number 443. I'm getting. Or it's 4432. Four, four, Okay, 4432, I'm picking up. Um, somebody is 62. Um, somebody's birthday is September 11th, 12th, the 5th, the 4th, the 9th, the 8th. Um, a birthday could be August 24th, 25th. 28th, 29th, okay, let's see, one more, April 12th, did I say that already, May 12th, March 21st, okay, so we have Virgo, Gemini, um, I say Pisces, again, find that Sagittarius is often not in my readings, very rarely. That might be significant to somebody. Um, Scorpio. Cancer. Picking up Capricorn again. Aquarius. Okay. Um, hmm. 91. Okay, 22nd, the 23rd. Um, somebody is 32. Somebody is 22. Um, okay, somebody just turned 21. Um, June 16th. Also hearing June 20th. Ooh, June 20th, June 21st. All right, let me do it again. Oh, look at this on top. Okay, we have Libra. Leo. Now we have Leo. Um, Pisces again. Okay. Uh, some a significant date. April 8th, 19, or 2016. Okay. Uh, November 3rd. No, all right, so a lot of birthdays in November. November 2nd, 3rd. 4th, 5th, 7th, and 9th. Okay. Somebody is 47. Did I say that? Somebody's 59. Okay. Um, okay. Somebody graduated high school in 1983. <laughs> <coughs> mm. Okay, um, two zero eight one six, two zero eight one six. They're just telling me. Seven two three eight. I think these are like numbers in a phone. There's Sagittarius right there now showing up, or somebody is either Scorpio or Libra rising. Okay, uh, 4957, 8432, 9725. All right, okay, let's get a couple of charms. Couple of charms for your reading for Virgo. Okay, there's that green leaf again, and we have a sewing machine, beautiful, and a shamrock. Someone share, someone's sewing a shamrock patch onto something. A shamrock patch, perhaps. Creating, crafting, doing something with a sewing machine. Okay. 
We definitely. And we also have a koi fish. So if somebody's from Japan, right? Koi fish are in Japan, right? Are they Japanese fish of some sort? I'm also picking up a gold fish as well. And then they just gave me a pineapple. Maybe somebody likes pineapple or has pineapple in their ice cream or their pizza. Somebody enjoys that. The gold leaf, I said this in, if you purchase the, the other reading that I said was, it sounded hellish. Um, I was talking about gold leaf in there and it's here again. So it's gold leaf or it was sweet tea or sweet leaf tea or something gold or not gold leaf green leaf and then I was hearing green piece that's what I was trying to say in the other reading but green leaf oh green paper here's some money okay a hundred dollar bill y'all okay or a hundred pounds or wherever you're from in the world something to do with green Ireland somebody's Irish perhaps um, let me see. Shamrocks, shamrock necklace. I was going to say shamrock shake. Maybe somebody really likes shamrock shakes. Like as soon as they come out, it's like you're the first person there to get to get them. Okay. So we have an octopus. Huh. Tentacle. Tentacle. Suction cups. Doing something with suction cups. Isn't that like a, a therapy too? Somebody does like suction cup on the back or something, cup therapy or something. Maybe you had that done or you're getting that done. I'm just hearing with this octopus, somebody just wants to get their, get their tentacles all over you. Look, you've got a rose. So maybe you have rose bushes or you're going to be, somebody brings you a rose coming up in May. Uh, there could be like a meeting. And when you meet somebody, they bring you a rose. Very beautiful. Or you give somebody a rose. Could be that. Maybe you're cutting roses right now. Okay. So we have a, a, a white moon with a star. Okay. So somebody just bit into a vanilla moon pie. <laughs> oh. This is a crescent moon with a star. Crescent moon with a star. That's significant to somebody. Moon and stars. Okay, and we also have the Eiffel Tower that I cannot hold or it just keeps jumping out of my hands. Okay, they're just saying, oh, that's, that's not a nice message. I don't know if I want to give that message. Do I want to give this message? Um... Okay, I'm going to give the message. Um, something is happening with the Eiffel Tower in France, or will be happening with the Eiffel Tower in France, which is very bizarre. It kept falling, kept popping and jumping. I can't imagine the Eiffel Tower in France is going to fall. Um, how would it fall? I don't know, but that's just that weird message that I'm getting. So maybe not. Maybe... Maybe they're just playing games. Spirits, spirit guys are just playing games with me. Um, but there is something here to do with Paris or France um, or a city. Somebody lives in a city called Paris. Somebody's name is Paris. Um, I'm going to get one more. I'm just get a couple more. Okay. So snowing in France. I don't know what it, it's spring though. We have snowflake. Somebody calls somebody snowflake. We also have princess crown. Very beautiful. Oh, snowflake and princess. Somebody's pet's names. They're just saying because there's a kitty cat, Siamese cat here. Maybe it's your, somebody has cats named snowflake and princess. Okay. Are you getting a new cat? You're going to name it. Maybe you can't think of a name. You're going to name it one of those names. Um, somebody's getting a Siamese cat. That also looks like a mirror cat. I'm also hearing a mirror cat. So I don't know if somebody's, you just saw a mirror cat or you have mirror cats. Where you, the only mirror cat I know is from the Lion King. Maybe somebody was watching the Lion King and saw the mirror cat. All right, you guys. So I'm going to call it a night. I hope that that message or those messages are, were very interesting for you. You know, lately, I don't know if you've noticed, but the shit stains are gone. We're not requesting bloody stumps lately. Um, it's not that... I feel like what's going on is there's an energy of like letting go and 
changing things, but I want you to know that no matter what, the whole um, bloody stump thing still rings true because you know if you've got somebody coming back into your past who was wearing a mask like and they're coming back and they're going to start revealing things that's great and that is mostly for past exes and relationships generally going back to exes is not always the best idea because if it wasn't able to work out in the beginning it's highly unlikely would be the exception to the rule that it does it's not that it can't if you want to heal it things can be healed but it can't just be word can't just be lip service it's got to be effort has to be made because trust has to be earned trust has to be rebuilt right new people coming in it's kind of the same you know you want to take it easy and take it slow but i feel like don't put all your eggs into one basket with anyone until you know that it's safe that you can trust somebody because then you wind up getting hurt and take your time getting to know somebody on a soul to soul level first before jumping into bed with them because the reason why is because lust can cloud your judgment you know this is your life you're talking about this is your heart you're talking about here you know and anybody can unless you're just one of those people who is narcissistic and doesn't care about that you just want to jump in bed with whoever um, because there's something going on hopefully not but if that's the case you can't blame anybody if you get hurt because you 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 got lustful and you let lust dictate a relationship you can't you have nobody to blame but yourself you don't take it slow you know there's plenty of time for that and actually it's even better when you have a soul to soul connection with someone that lust and that love is just so much better when two people are in that energy all right you guys so that was my little my little house of virgo ism so i'm gonna leave your messages there i hope you enjoy that i will see you all tomorrow don't forget if you want to grab that extra reading the link is below just go over there and just be mindful doesn't sound all that great the the sound is bad but it's a really good reading and if you can bear it it's basically somebody asking is this my twin flame or soulmate like somebody's really curious so i would definitely go check that out if you want all right, you guys, love you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.